on another job here and to be honest I wasn't going to film this and we've got the rip out done, there was a lot of trees that came down uh, and we're on now onto the stage where we're putting things back in and I thought you know what this, this is going to be nice this is worth filming so it's a little bit different it's not contemporary it's, I'd say it's a bit more traditional with like the curves and the materials we're going to be using in the in stone and like a rustic brick but it's going to be really nice so join me for the ride eh? I'll show you what we're up to so far So as you can see off the pictures, it's looking <laughs> a hell of a lot different already. Start at this top area. So here we have got, and down this side, we've got an Indian stone pathway, new set of steps there. And it's gonna be curving round. We've put this retainer in purely just so we can build up because you can see the height difference. It's, it's being increased by we're extending this out so we're gonna have one step here and then another step following the same shape down onto the grass shed base here so as we come down the steps we're gonna have a pathway round here and it's gonna snake around the garden this area is actually formed from a center point radius from there so it's going to be like a circular law on this end and then we've got a little brick wall that's going to be running around for the retaining bed raised bed we've put this fence in path carries on round here wall kicks in there pathway comes around and linked back up with the patio so we've replaced all these panels on here and we've straightened them up as best we can. That one needs sorting out a bit. So yeah, they're existing post and panels, base panels. We've just put the timber timber boards in and it looks a lot better to be to be fair. So first thing I'm gonna do now is set this out and start on this wall, get this up. Sun is shining. Let's go.
Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no. Just wanna make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I Wish you the best to say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does We had a good run Don't say we didn't I was your first love, and you were my first one. Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies, yeah. Promise I won't forget, yeah. Maybe it's something in the water, yeah. Or maybe we just hit the end of the road, Right now it doesn't even matter, yeah. It's too late not to let it go. Got Jacob here setting up for this step. He's gonna be doing all of this himself. He's doing brickwork in college, so it's gonna be a good bit of experience for him. And then today I'm gonna be putting this wall in here, so this is gonna be like a fascia for where the shed base is gonna sit. So we're gonna find parallel off the house come through. We're going to bring that round, kick it back in there, and all this area, 6x12, uh, is going to be a shed base. So we're just going to probably get about 7,500ml of concrete on that and then fill it through level with the top of these bricks. Posting pictures on the gram so other people know that we're more than friends. And ever since you came around, I've never been sober, always in my head. Met you at a time when I was so
It's okay. Before we had the set of stairs that came down, they were very steep, didn't look very nice. So what we're doing now is we're kind of reconfiguring this area. So we're gonna have a set of stairs coming down here, but extending the top level out to the corner. And we're gonna have a planter there and another planter on this side, just so it doesn't look so Plane. and also it's a bit of a wasted space on this side here so by adding the planter just going to add a bit of a uh, bit of interest looking forward to building this don't know exactly how it's going to work out yeah it's one of them make it up as you go but i've got an idea i have a little plan what i'm going to do this side and then with the planter on the other side i'll, I'll work that out when i get to it Talking to the night 
Faster car. Lay my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine. And I know this is my time now. I'm gonna be myself. Or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. When I'm out, so try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars. I wanna drive. Quarter to eight, 
but I said to myself at the start of the day I wanted to get this done. Been raining on and off, I had a late start, but I got it done, and that's the main thing. Flip it round and you can have a look. So yeah, what we've got here is the top area is gonna be all paved, planter, steps, and another bed. I actually built this part here flush. You might see it on the video, flush with this corner here. Ah, when it's when I when I'd done it, I didn't like the look of it, so I thought it looked better. Step back a bit, plus it's not eating into this patio area, it's staying closer there because that's plenty soil to here, get a few plants in that. It's going to look great with the air flags and the coconuts on that. Needle, fantastic job. Jake's done that step there yesterday. First time building a step. So he's just concreted that. Now he's marking up some flags. He's gonna cut and lay them as well. And you kid. Yeah man. Just help him when you get back if he hasn't done them. You know what I mean? Okay. job for this morning and I'm, I'm here on my own today to Saturday is going to be cutting uh, some coping down to go on this wall we've built so I'm gonna be looking for ones which have already got like a natural curve on them to follow the contour of the wall so I'll be cutting down in half getting two out of one and then I'm gonna have to cut the edges as well on a taper so they flow around nice
Till the city burns and the stars fade away and your scars don't hurt Stay with me until the last man falls I don't need them anyway when I'm with you I have it all Oh, oh I'll never let you slip away oh, 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 and you don't have to be afraid I will hold you till the sun comes crashing down Until the end of time 
stay with me till the stars fade away and your scars don't, your scars don't say my name. Stay with me till the stars fade away and your scars don't, your scars don't hurt, your scars don't Just talk you through this procedure what we're doing here with this block i wouldn't do this for a driveway because i'd always want the edge to be mortared in and concreted underneath and at the side a big haunch but for a garden path like this this is more than adequate so we've screeded everything in one go so what i'm doing now is just going around the edge on both any edge that's unrestrained and taking it down so i'm taking it down about five five mil below the blocks that are in the center which will be whacked at a later date so what i'm doing i'm taking them down by eye and then i'm checking them with the lines with the level and then also across checking there's an even gap underneath there like that checking there's no rocking like that and when you put the level on check there's an even gap through here of about five mil okay so these have been knocked down Jacob's just getting rid of all the excess sand 
from the side so we can get a good haunch on it and then once he's done that like that what we'll do is just run our finger underneath about 10 mil scrape that away Jake that way so the reason for that is when we put the haunch in there it'll just lip under and catch the underside of this block so these are the fibers we're going to be putting in the mix full bag of that into the mix Okay, so we've knocked the block down, we've chucked the excess sand away, ran our fingers underneath, creating a bit of a lift, like that, pull that back. And then what I like to do as well, this is just a paving primer that you'd use for porcelain or anything on the back of your flag. Just makes the board stick better. Not essential, but belt and braces. See all the fibres in the mix there. Make sure it's pushed in underneath the block. When I'm finishing, always leave it down about 10 mil off the top of the block. That way, whatever you've got in this area, in this instance, we've got turf. You know, you've got some height to fit your soil, your turf into. Or if it was gravel, you know, you're going to get your, your gravel onto the top rather than bringing your horns right to the top. There you go. From the Queen's Jubilee? Huh? From the Queen's Jubilee? Oh, yeah. Did you text her, Ken? Did you tell her? I think you said online. Have you? Yeah. You see people say that them scouts are down there every day and all the door lights and all that.
First day flagging. Couldn't film this morning because there was too much going on and that the electrician here and we were getting set up. We wanted a good start. Got the first mix going about nine o'clock and we've got about 25 meters in there. So looking good. Quite a lot of tolerance, a big variation in tolerance on these flags. More than what I've seen on most, to be honest. So, the idea now well, we'll trim them up once delayed. Uh, so, the idea today is get the rest done here and then work our way out there as well by the end of play today, barring the cuts down this side here. I've done a few cuts on this bit and up there, that one, two, three cuts. But yeah, the rest will leave and cut in tomorrow. Yeah, look nice. This wall's not very comfy, though. You're out. Know, well, I had to sit on my leg, not my bum. Yes. Yeah, I yeah. had to hang my bum over. Ah, over the head, like Humpty Dumpty. Come over that. And then you're yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We had a good day yesterday we got all the main body of the paving down on this main area and down the side as well so we had kev on the mixer and we had big griff me mate he was a touch uh, for the day because it's bank holiday and we yeah we got all the main ones down apart from cuts well got a few cuts in as well so i'll have a little walk around and show you what we've done so that's the main body of the patio in like I say, without the cuts, we started at this point here because this gave us a nice run across the house, no cuts. And then we also started with the flag at this point. So when we laid them down this side here, we didn't have to do any cutting across the house. So we strung the line from here through up to the gate to get our level on this line. And then that's uh, 1.2 meters so fitted to a full flag in that side so we've just got to cut up against here because this is in and out as you can probably make out on the uh, on the footage there so yeah today is 
all about cutting. Hopefully this rain keeps off. Hmm, doesn't look too promising. Where my heart is close to yours, David. Really next to see David.
I shut my feelings down You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, I, I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Tracking on well with the soil there, and we have just that an almighty downpour. Everything's flooded. Soil in the street is backed up. They back water up in in the road. So this is real life. Anyway, we've got to contend with it and get on. So I'm just going to bail this out now, and then. Get the rest of the soil it's in, hopefully overnight. If we don't have more rain, it's gonna dry out a bit, but don't love the great British summertime.
Yeah, they are. Here's the team. Come on. The team. Come on. Let's see you. Let's see your ugly mushes. We're not a team. Okay, this is for the outtakes at the end of the year. The end YouTube, of the year. yeah. End of the year, yeah. End of the year. What have you got to say for yourselves? Super if you enjoyed the job. Oh, yeah. What's been the best bit <laughs> and the worst bit of the job? Well, I've only done two days here, so for me. Two? Yeah. It was working away from you. Oh, no, stop it. <laughs> what about you, Kenny, eh? It's a pleasure just working with you every day, Sergio. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say that again, please? It's great working coming to work, you know, your oh, insight every day. Oh, stop it. What about Jacob? Just, just having Kenny by my side every <laughs> single day. Oh, <laughs> true love. You jealous, Craig? Oh, I left them out. It's just like in my love life. <laughs> The wrap job done really enjoyed that it was it's different to what the kind of thing we do now when i first started out so 
well, I started the business in 99, but before that, I was doing it for like seven years. But when I first started in the trades of late, late 90s, uh, it was a lot of that kind of material. It, was, it wasn't it was Indian stone, it was concrete, the reproduction ones, like the heritage and the stone market range. And uh, it was that kind of feel, that kind of vibe, uh, the buff tones, uh, the riven flag, the rustic brick caves, like now it's, it's the majority of the gardens we do with straight lines, contemporary uh, and a lot of greys uh, and light colours. So it was, ni it, was, it was nice to do it. It was like stepping back in time almost to the kind of things that I did when I first started. So like the caves and like techniques with straight lines, it's a straight line, but with a cave, you need a little bit of, uh, how should I say, a bit of an artistic eye, I think, to get the cave right. And I've had a lot of practice of doing that. So I think I've got that, we've got that down to like a fine art there, making the caves flow and look right. Hopefully you agree as well. Uh, yeah, but it's been good. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video and thanks for your support. As always, all the best. Take care. Speak to you soon.